It got so hot out there earlier. Yeah. Uh, you know, triple digits, that's where we got today, 100 degrees. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much a forecast, Tessa, for the next several days. Yeah. So, indeed, we are in this heat wave to stay at least for the short term. You know, I'm always trying to find the silver lining. I in the know forecast. you are. I know. But right now, you can see that some temperatures across the state are actually getting some pretty good help from rain cooled air that goes for grants at 66 degrees right now. Also been watching across southeastern New Mexico. There's a little bit of activity in Hobbs and Carlsbad that have dropped those temperatures and a lot of that is due to uh, those storms in the area and all across areas like Las Vegas to Tucum carry in the 70s as well, but still got to make sure that everyone's informed about this ongoing heat advisory across most of southern New Mexico. Um, which is going to be just a, especially in the afternoon, you'll be noticing, of course, that that temperature is really soaring. Right now, I want to show you a nice picture from the very large array. You can see some rain splashing there on the lens. Actually, at this hour, still happening. The big picture showing us as we zoom into that area of Socorro County, pretty much near Magdalena, where we are getting a, almost a little bit of a circulation right there. That doesn't indicate severe weather or tornadoes or anything like that. It's just the motion of the storms in the area and a little bit of uh, light rain. Very happy to see that because, of course, we do need that moisture. And then from Corona out toward areas like Fort Sumner. And even as we look toward the Texas state line, you can see that there is activity along there. Areas south of Hobbs and also some good little storms south of Carlsbad. So this will be starting to wrap up as we get toward the, the later parts of the night. So as we start moving toward midnight, a lot of this will be moving out of here, but at least it has that cooling effect that also goes for the northern mountains, the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. As you can see, a good little outflow boundary, that wave like structure, sending that moist and cooler air and spawning some storms in the mountains. Well, northwest New Mexico, you're out of luck. I'm sorry. It's just too dry and mild for that area of the state. In fact, staying dry for tomorrow, even though we will see repeating chances of isolated showers and thunderstorms across the southwest, triple digits across the state. The ongoing heat wave will really be pressing central and northwest New Mexico. Meanwhile, southern areas of the state will be getting a chance of some isolated storms, isolated severe across the northeastern portion of the state. Then Saturday kicks in. There's going to be limited moisture the further west you go. Same for Sunday, but I'm anticipating that these temperatures will take a little bit of a break across eastern New Mexico by Sunday, and then we are back to the heat wave by the beginning of next week. Here is a look at tomorrow, 108 degrees Roswell, and expecting those temperatures to stay in triple digit territory, uh, briefly getting hot again or hotter by the middle of next week. Tomorrow, 104 Deming, about 96 degrees in Silver City, again with a chance of isolated showers and thunderstorms. The northwest for tomorrow, it's going to be a range of 90s, around 98 degrees uh, for Farmington, and then triple digit heat because of the lack of rain and, and really much cloud activity predicted for the next several days. Across the North Mountains, it's also going to be one of those afternoons where we start to see activity all around for Santa Fe. That means about a 10 to 20% chance of showers for the next several days, uh, but still you'll be reaching those 90s before that rain comes and rescues you. Santa Rosa to can carry triple digits 92 in Las Vegas, and I'm expecting that the East Mountains. Yep. You're getting up there to about 92 degrees for Sandia Park and Cedar Crest. Even those higher elevated areas will be feeling it in triple digits, mostly in valley locations, but also I'm expecting Rio Rancho to be very close to that with a 10% chance of some isolated storms. And for Albuquerque, we are in triple digit mode Friday into Saturday, and it looks like we're in for the hottest stretch we've seen so far by the beginning of next week.